Hey guys, we're going to be playing uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 yet again, but this time we're going to take the uh, warp whistle and we're going to we're going to get the warp whistle right away and we're going to warp to uh, Big World or Giant Land, whatever it's called. So we got to work our way to the warp whistle real quick. Hopefully my gameplay this time will be a little bit better. make it some more hurry. Guess I'll do the bag guys. Okay. This level is so short compared to the first one. I, I still, you know, firmly stand by the fact that some of the later levels in this first world are actually easier than the first level. So I still stand by that fact. It's just, you know, what it is. Which we didn't play this level last time. We skipped and went to level four because I consider level four just to be a tad bit easier than this one. But we're gonna do this one because this is the world we're gonna get the warp whistle. So, and of course, this is the famous warp whistle everybody knows about. Oop. I guess I got another. Oop, and I almost lost it. That was smart. Okay. Oh, jeez. Almost thought I almost got hit by that. Alright. It's not that one. It's the one up here. Oh, wait. No, it was that one. My bad. I'm silly. Okay. It's this one. I gotta kill this. Right. Koopa Trooper, though. Alright, now we can go. There it is. Yeah, because the first world actually had, there's three warp whistles in the entire game. We're going to go ahead and grab an item real quick. Uh, there's three warp whistles, of course, in the entire game. There's two in the first world, and then there's one located in world two. So. And that's where they're all at. There's only three. I actually didn't even know about the uh, uh, the um, third warp whistle in World Two until until I was a little bit older. When I was a kid, I thought there was only two warp whistles. But yeah, we're gonna go to World Four. World Two is the sand world. We did that one, and World Three is actually kind of like a uh, watery type world. There's a lot of water involved. But World 4 is where everything's giant. So, of course, World 5 is uh, like a sky type world. And then World 6. Uh, what is World 6? Like ice, I think? And then World 7 is like a, a lot of tunnels and mazes and stuff. And then World 8 uh, literally looks like burning flames everywhere. It's essentially Bowser's uh, castle. I think this is the red tunnel. Can't remember which one it is. One of these takes you to a dead end, and the other one takes you to the first level. I think this is the right one. Yep. All right. Yeah, we're in big world or giant world, or whatever you want to call it. It's pretty much the same as any other world, except everything's bigger. But some things can be a little bit trickier when they're bigger, especially some of the enemies, kind of like that, they because they take up more space on the screen, and sometimes that makes things a little harder. Sometimes. 
It's been a while since I've been in this world. This is like one of my favorite worlds. And of course you go down the tunnel and then everything looks normal as you go to the end of the level. I don't know if that was a programming thing, if they just programmed the ends of all the levels the same, and so in some of these special worlds they had to kind of uh, basically just warp you back to the far. I don't know, I'm not a programmer, so I'm not sure how that works, but it, to me it seems like it could be a programming thing. Now we're gonna not we're not gonna do this entire world. We're just gonna do a, probably a good portion of it. Oh. And the fish got me, of course. Which I can take out the fish. Oh, oh well, I gotta leave. There we go. And then sometimes the enemies, like I said, with like with those. The uh, plants there, you know, sometimes they're the same size, even though everything else is still giant. So it's kind of a mix with some levels like level two, everything's kind of mixed in. You got like big stuff right here, and then you got little stuff too. So I don't know why I like this world so much, it's just so much fun, but I also really like that sky type world where like you're really up high in the sky area. I don't know why. It's just, it's just a lot of fun to be those two. So I think, which I think is World 5. So World 4 and World 5 are like my two favorite worlds. Of course, World 1 is always fun. It's a, kind of a breeze to get through. Oh, man, I'm about to die again if I'm not careful. All right, let's see if we can work our way around this situation here. I think we got it. Oh, I misjumped. And I'm about to get killed. Can I get out of this spot? Maybe. All right. Oh, it's kind of like going, when you get in situations like that, it's kind of like when you're at a four-way intersection, you got like, when you're trying to turn a left or whatever, and you got cars from every which way trying to, you know, Let's see if I can take that fish up, well, I took the other turtle up. Okay, this part's pretty easy. That second part of it where things get really tricky. Ah, I got too nervous trying to catch the big man. Oh man. Let's try again. Uh, I got a big man. That's the only issue with warping is it's like you have less items to use and uh, makes things harder. Barely, Mister. There you go. At least I can catch the game. If I could just get some speed, I could fly over this sucker. There we go. There we go. Now I can do some. Try not to fall in the water. I've done that before. Like been right there at the end and I slipped right in the water and couldn't get out. Wind up getting killed. Sucked. All right, I gotta take this uh, coop out. Oop. There we go. Got him. Even though I lost my freaking tanuki suit, but that's like a raccoon suit, whatever. I think the Tanuki one's the one you get later on. The red, the leaf is like the red can. Or whatever. All right, level three. That was smart, wasn't it? I think when you warp down here, everything goes back to normal. Yeah. Like a complete. This level is actually not that hard, really. And I messed up already. <laughs> I just got done saying this level is not that hard, and then I just jump around. Oh, like a moron. 
Okay, let's try that again. Okay, that's what I was trying to do before. I was trying to just jump over him, but I failed miserably. Okay. Right. Check these guys out. Jump over here. Take him off. I think there was a big man in one of these. No, there's not. Maybe it's the next part where there's a big man. Ooh, there we go. Almost got hit. Yeah, I think it's this one. I meant to kind of try to grab that thing, but it's alright. Sometimes with these guys, you just have to be a little bit patient. That's what you gotta do. Beep. Okay. Should be a, a leaf or something in here, right? Yeah. No, that's just a big man. Let him fall down. this one. Oh, no, that's just to try to throw you off. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, this level's really not that hard once you kind of learn how to get your balance. Probably do one more level and then I'll go ahead and end the video. Yeah, just take out the castle. Some people might be saying, like, well, why don't you do the matching game? I'm not very good at uh, memory games, really. I've always been kind of bad at those. So when I was, I rarely ever play it. Sometimes I'll play it, but it's pretty rare. So just, like I said, I'm just really bad at memory games. So let him walk over a little bit. Oh, jeez, that was stupid. Let's throw it. At least I got my big man back. Okay. And then this should be the end. Really not too hard. That's what I like about this game. It's really balanced on difficulty. Well, until you get to the last like two worlds. The last two worlds are crazy difficult. And am I going to die by this basic boss? Dang it. Alright, I think I'm going to end the video here, but thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.